Guys, welcome back to the Dorky Am 40 channel. I am Chad. Today we are going to take a look at that big X-Wing from Diagostini, the Build Your X-Wing kit. Now I've been collecting month after month issues. I've got boxes of them stacked up here. I've got stuff I've been working on on the bench and I've just kind of been playing with it for a little bit, but with all the extra time that I've had on my hands, I've went to town on it. And what I've done is I have went through and completely almost assembled one complete wing. And I'm gonna show you all of the little things that I've done to correct some of the problems and some things that we'll do in more detail in the following videos that I'll do as we progress because we're up to month 11. So I got seven through 11 here. I just finished issue 16 and issue 17 is going to be where we actually finish the first wing and that's up to 44. So we've got a lot of wings to build and there's a lot of stuff to learn. So let's take a look at the bench here and I'll show you what I have got going on. So as you can see, we have a nearly completed wing here. We'll take a look at the laser cannon first. Now I've pretty much have done a video, I think on the laser cannon already but I'll tell you a few mods that I have made. One thing that I did do is I replaced the fiber optic wire in there with something that's a little bit uh, more uh, stiff and it is also shielded. So therefore it will help with the light blocking even though I've went ahead, as you can see, we're gonna be doing a full repaint job on this. I've already started. All my painting I've been doing so far is pretty much with uh, Tamiya, uh, the fine surface primer in gray, and then AS20 in the spray can. Now there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. The spray cans are definitely a lot easier because of the size, even though I have multiple airbrushes, but I'll be bringing those into uh, to play later on. So with this stuff here, one thing I've done is, cleaned up a lot of the parts there these parts don't fit together very well there's a lot of mold lines and seam lines and some of them you can correct uh you know if we take a look here at the end of the laser cannons you can see how we've got that kind of correcting right there with the seam line there's still a step that i'll have to sand down there um so sometimes getting rid of the pegs and just gluing these together will make things a lot cleaner as well as here you can see i've sanded away all the paint and the mold lines so just little improvements like that go a long way i've used glue in some spots as well some places where there are big seam lines like uh here you can see maybe because the light is just super crazy there we go. So you can see that big seam line there and how the part just doesn't fit very well. And I've corrected a lot of that here on top. Uh, this could be smoothed out a little bit more, but I really don't want to be sanding and doing a whole lot more with it because I don't want to lose a lot of the detail and recesses. I have went through and done some stuff with like scribing tools and really fine sanding to try to maintain a lot of that. But just in a lot of eyesore places like that, uh, things have been needed to be uh, corrected. So that's a look at the laser cannon. Uh, if we take a look at the top of the wing here, nothing crazy except for just go ahead and painting that again. There is an actual template that is out there that you can use to trace out uh, Luke's Red 5 markings. And then everything else will pretty much just be masked off and painted with the airbrush. So that's not a huge deal at all. This wing piece right here for the top of the engine has, um, a, it's one solid piece, but it does have a mold line down the middle of it. So that's really easy to sand away and correct and not have any type of issues. Um, the bottom of the wing you can see that uh, we have pretty much have done the same thing as far as painting everything. And we'll have another shell that'll come over here and there'll be a little bit of this exposed. I might spray a little bit of uh, a dark color in there just uh, to make weathering a little bit uh, easier on the, the back end, but I'm not 100% sure. On the actual engine, you can see that I've uh, went ahead and painted all of that white as well you can see a little bit of the actual 
uh, engine drive inside there if you look really close too. You know, all this detail pretty much will be covered up except for the pipings back here, which I did break one, which was kind of a shame, but nobody will ever know except for me and, uh, of course, all of you guys. Now, the whole big engine flat light flashlight back here, again, has a pretty bad uh, fit and seam all the way across. This here is just a step but you can see how everything else is kind of fit together. Uh, it's like a raised detail, so it doesn't look as bad as one would think, but it uh, looks like I did do, do some gluing and it's, uh, you know, I'm able to squeeze it and it's coming apart a little bit. So probably what I will do with the next engine is I'll use uh, some kind, what I'll use is probably the Aves uh, Fix-It Sculpt this is really good to fill gaps with because I was using various kind of putties like Mr. Surfacer and stuff to fill cracks and everything. But with the flexing and all that kind of stuff, it, uh, you know, and it likes to shrink and everything. And this plastic is kind of a, a weird ABS, uh, some kind of a weird mix that, uh, really only works with super glue and you really either got to commit and just remove all of the mounting posts and try to get it locked in there and then come in and fill the seam and i didn't have the uh the fix it sculpt at that point i had regular aves epoxy sculpt but the aves epoxy sculpt gets kind of grainy and doesn't fill and smooth out as good as this does with their uh safety solvent so we'll be using that with the rest of the wings and engines and we'll go into a lot more detail on that when uh, things do when we get around to that. But uh, you know, real nice details here on the back and everything, all the lights and all that are working. We can go ahead and test a couple of those out if you want to. So I have had them taped off here so I don't uh, get too much uh, paint on the actual uh, power plugs. So I think this one here is for the engine. So we can show you how that looks when it's lit, lit up. So there is our engine light. You can see the detail in there. And I just kind of did a fine spray inside there. I didn't paint the entire piece. I'll be coming through and doing more weathering on that and everything. And if I look real close, I can see a couple spots that do have a little bit of light leak on there uh, which is unfortunate that I'll have to go through and fix uh, but that's really not that big of a deal now that I have the, the actual uh, fix it sculpt so I can stick that in there and we can get that covered up no problem at all so this thing really has turned into a really good uh, practice in modeling a lot of techniques to be used a lot of fine sanding painting priming all that stuff now of course you can just get anything you want and just uh, slap together the kit a lot of people are doing that uh, but i have said it time and time again i really want to take this opportunity and the money i'm spending to make uh, the ultimate x-wing model as good as i can I am working, if you see some pieces kind of laying around here in the little Luke figure, I'm working on a Bandai 148 scale right now, which is this model right here. And I'm going to use this pretty much as my primer for this one as far as all the markings and how I'm going to weather it and detail it and everything. I'm just going to scale that up to fit with this. So... Pretty excited. A lot of good stuff's happening on this. Loving this model. Got a lot, lot more to do. A lot of work with all the extra stuff. And by the time I get around to that, the issues are just going to keep on popping in. And we'll, like I said, we'll go through a lot of these pieces in a little bit more detail as the I progress here over the next uh, couple months for everybody. So if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll see you guys on the next video.